Now, you see what's going on in the picture. It's kind of obvious, right? You know, he, he's, he, he's smoking that, you know. He getting his fix in, right? You know, and, and hey, all this is against the law unless it's for medicinal purposes, right? Now, I thought I didn't heard everything, right? But I was just listening to Phil, so I did some research into what I'm going to show you, right? I thought I heard everything, but there's always someone who do something different. And, and hey, like we said in this, in, in Esau world, the bar is always pushed further, okay? There are no limits to what is pushed out there, okay? And, and hell, I don't even know if I can even blame uh, E for this. I probably had to blame, um, you know, Ham for this, okay? So, yeah, let's go and get into it. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murderers, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I told you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. All right, so yeah, let's go and get into it. Barak of Thy Hawa, Barak of Thy Hawa Shah, Barak of Thy Hawa, Barak of Thy Hawa Shah, Barak of Thy Hawa, Barak of Thy Hawa Shah. Call her law, Yahawa, by Hashem, Rakar Kadash. I like to give a shout out and salute to the brothers across the four corners of the earth trying to preach this truth and seal the elect. Hopefully, you and me is one of them. I like to give a shout out. To the Akim and the Akwav that are joining me today to listen to this digital epistle. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the prophets sent during this time to wake us up. Okay? So, yeah, let's deal with this. Like I said, I've thought I've heard it all, being as though I'm almost pushing 50. But, hey, there's always something different that people can amaze you with. Okay? So, yeah, let's get into it. Now, this is an old clip, okay? And I heard about these ants from a long time ago, but you got to hear this now, okay? I'm going to play this little part, okay, so we can know what's going on, and then we're going to go on and deal with what these ants are doing now. See, the most high, hey, the most high is out here exposing everything, okay? Yeah, let's go and listen to this, and then we're going to get into what this is about. Electric boxes and messing up computers. Can you imagine? Yeah, and scientists have named them crazy raspberry ants. Yeah, the bizarre bugs look like fleas, but they are much more dangerous. Eyewitness News 5's Jordan Williams is live with us tonight. And Jordan, we want to know, are these things in Oklahoma? Well, Maggie, the fast answer is sort of. I'll explain in just a second. But these ants, as you say, doing all kind of damage. They've been found literally coming out of electric outlets like wall plugs. They've also been targeting computers, monitors, CPUs, making a big mess. We checked and we found out that we don't exactly have the specific species here in Oklahoma, but we have some of their close cousins. Okay, now what these ants do, they eat electronics. And I heard about them many years ago, and they've been trying to deal with it because they came out of South America, and they got another name, too. They call it the Tawny Crazy Ant, okay? So they eat electronics. A lot of times you think your electronics was um, busted or broken. No, that's because these damn ants then crawled up in there and short-circuited your system out, Okay. The same way they be doing all these different cars and all this other stuff. The most I got these, that's why they call Tony Crazy Ants. Got these bugs out here acting crazy. Okay, now here's, here's, the, here's the even more crazier part. Okay, he got these bugs acting crazy, these animals acting crazy. And this is an old clip. Remember, this is over 10 years old. Now I'm going to show you how crazy people are getting. Okay, so yeah, let's go and get into it. All right, so I just took a few dabs. And I have an ant problem right now. And I went and put my stuff back on the counter and I was like, wait, I don't want to smoke ants. So let me be careful and put it somewhere else. And then I got curious. All right, you see that? Youth smoking ants to get high. As you see here, UAE, the national news website, youth smoking ants to get high. 
Down at the bottom, more than a third of children, some as young as 13, have smoked the native, native Samsung ant as a... Yeah, they found out these crazy-ass, bugged-out-ass youth that they don't know if they male, female, don't know if they Steve, don't know if they Samantha. They want to be unicorns. They want to be, um, you know, uh, flying gophers, whatever other type of abomination besides being what the most high made them to be. They out here smoking ants to get high, okay? And it gets better. Let's keep going. Substitute for illegal substances such as marijuana. The CNUA health officials have warned smoking the red ant gives a similar sensation to smoking marijuana and sniffing glue because of a high concentration of formic acid found in the ants. And a small See that spiritual just flashed across my screen from staying to spirit 144, the last generation. Yeah, this is the last generation, okay? And see this from this is from Dr. E messing with everything. People smoking ants out here, putting in their marijuana, putting in their black and mild, okay? Putting it in, um, you know, that their vanilla Dutch master, okay? Drinking a slit smoked liquor with it, okay? See, told you the hey, these people getting more and more bugged out, but bugged out for real now, okay? Don't be surprised if people start eating these damn ants. I mean, they already eat chocolate covered ants in France, but hey, they might have uh, straight up uh, recipes with this, okay? Let's keep going. That's why these kids shermed out their mind. Let's keep going. A packet is said to sell for a DH400 in Dubai, and it's not illegal. People smoke the ants because they're cheaper and safer in the eyes of the law than smoking narcotics. Marijuana, I don't, I don't think it's safer. Uh, formic acid, the Latin word for ant, formica, is a combustible liquid that produces poisonous gases when heated up. Effects of smoking the red ant can vary from lung fibrosis to kidney failure and damage to the central nervous system. The Ministry of Health has not yet conducted research on the effects of smoking the ants. You, you better get on it. Uh, our research only identifies the prevalence. Hey, and see, now they got something else to deal with. Like he said, they better get on it. But you know they ain't, right? They're going to let these kids do whatever, right? That do as thou will spur. Okay? They're spreading across the entire planet. Okay? And, and hey... With all this new technology, don't be surprised if they find other uh, different bugs and stuff they can smoke. Like, remember, people were uh, smoking them toads, okay, them bufo toads, right? Scraping their back, trying to get a, a ayahuasca-like um, sens sensation to go visit the spirit world. You see? See, these people are through. They're going to be smoking ants, smoking frogs. You know, they probably going to start smoking, uh, what's them rats that live underground called shrews? They, um, in a rodent family that are toxic. People might start smoking them. Smoking, um, Komodo dragon, um, spit. Because their spit is toxic. Okay, smoking jellyfishes. Because they're toxic. I'm telling you, these people are finished. Okay, this that generation. All right. Let's keep going. And not the side effects of the practice because we've only only recently become aware of it. The same yeah, see, like he said, they just recently uh, discovered this. Okay. Let's keep going. And them damn Hamites is on it. Okay. They're messing with this stuff heavy. Okay. They saying Somalia is becoming a big problem. Okay. And they said they smoke. They smoking it so bad in Somalia that the damn ants are going extinct. How you make ants extinct? You got trillions upon trillions of ants. And I found out that um, a lot of ordinary ants carry this in them. And see, you need ants. You need ants for a lot of different things. See, insect apocalypse. Now it's going to be dealing with the ants too. Okay. And I noticed it this year because I normally have ants every summer. And they'll uh, get somehow get in my house because of where I live at. I said, damn, I ain't seen no ants this year. Somebody probably smoked them. See? This is bugged out. See? This is that crazy, wild, decrepit, degenerate generation, okay? During the flood time. This is them, okay? Let's keep going. As in the days of Noah. 
from some ants poison gland holds formic acid, a chemical that smells like vinegar and is used by the ants to kill their prey and ward off attackers. Muhammad Al Ali, 27, believes the trend started with laborers from the subcontinent who roll the ants into their bindis. Uh, it's a social thing for Indian workers. Interesting. Go to Sakwa Square and they are sitting there smoking ants rolled into their bindis. It's as easy as picking up the ants, crushing them, and sprinkling them like you would do with marijuana over your tobacco to get high. These people are metal. <laughs> Kids just roll it up without any tobacco and smoke it. <laughs> see that? <laughs> so, <laughs> see these kids are gone, man. We need the most high. I don't mean to laugh, man, because this is serious, but we need the most high to come back. And, hey, you got to get us up out of this place. Can you imagine, you know, your next door neighbor or little kid, you know, they going to buy some tops paper and, and, hey, roll some ants up in their tops paper. And now they smoking ants and you hearing little, little pops and stuff. Like when people would smoke marijuana, they had them, um, them, you know, the seeds in them, and they'd be popping and pinging all in their face, you know. See, that's why we know the Most High. He get ready to do something terrible to these people. Let's keep going. <laughs> the Samsung ants are high in formic acid, which is extremely harmful when inhaled. Smoking them could lead to lung fibrosis, lung cancer, and damage to the central nervous system. It's like committing suicide. The ants were not chemically addictive, he added, but those who smoked them were psychologically addicted to the effect. People smoking ants experience sensations associated with smoking cannabis and sniffing glue, the doctor said. Uh, smoking the formic acid could irritate the, the nose, throat, and lungs, causing coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath. Short-term effects when exposed to formic acid include nausea, Nausea, headaches, dizziness, and vision disturbance. It could cause damage to the kidneys. It is used to make leather... Oh, my God. Would you smoke this? Yeah, you see that? So, yeah. I'm going to get another scripture, but I just wanted to get this out to the family. Watch your kids. Every time you turn around, there's something going on with these kids. Okay? This is Ezekiel 8, verse 17. Then he said unto me, Has thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. You see that? That's dealing with them different drugs and stuff like that, right? Now they are, hey, now they are out here with these damn ants. Ants. What in the hell is going on, okay? Therefore will I also deal in fury, mine eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. You see that? Judgment. And hey, if they don't repent, they deserve it, right? So yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family. Yeah, see? People out here, they putting ants in they smoke now. Get them an extra boost. You see that? Oh, oh hey, roll an ants up by itself in they top paper. Okay? Dutch master. Okay? So, yeah. Stay prayed up. And, and, and hey, if you see anybody in your family, all of a sudden they got, they, they with a bunch of dead ants. You see a bunch of dead ants and you see a, a, a family member messing with them. Hey, you never know. Okay? They might be rolling them up in their, um... You know, and they have uh, vanilla duchess, right? So, yeah, hopefully you was edified. I see you again real soon. This has to, hey, this is Generation Z. This is it. I, I don't I don't see us going too much further than this, you know. So, I see you again real soon. Call her law. Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shah. Shalom.